What's the worst parts of being attractive? When you're ugly and someone loves you, you know they love you for who you are. Beautiful people never know who to trust. Drax a destroyer. Being attractive while also being an anxious awkward person. Not knowing how to react or being uncomfortable when people flirt with you. If you're attractive right now, people assume you've always been attractive. People assume attractive people always get things handed to them. So when you're a nice looking 30 year old, but maybe were an ugly duckling until you were in your mid 20s, they assume you were a popular teenager, never bullied, and spent your young adulthood being taken on lavish dates and getting free drinks. Apparently being attractive means you're no longer allowed to have mental issues, you know because you're attractive. People want to be friends for nefarious or superficial reasons versus actually wanting to be your friend. A guy here. The weird amount of attention I get from older women. My wife being jealous of girls flirting with me when I don't even notice it. Being groped, grabbed, etc. when you're out just trying to have fun with your friends. I literally had a guy come up behind me at a urinal, reach around and grab my dick. Wouldn't consider myself attractive, but, I had a lot of acne as a teenager so my skin now is ifree is still very youthful looking as I approached my 50s. Consequently, I look younger than I am, while that has its great points, it also has negative ones. Like being considered younger than my peers in a professional setting and that meaning I'm not as experienced knowledgeable. I have been very shy and plagued with anxiety for most of my life, and people have actually perceived that as being stuck up vain. I'm outwardly cold and unexpressive because I'm terrified of people, not because I think I'm better than. And I've also spent much of my life believing I'm ugly gross. Attractiveness doesn't equal confidence. You're never sure if people like you because of how you look and they won't just at you as you get older or if you put on weight or cut your hair etc. Pretty privilege does exist, I'm not under any illusions, but not to know where you stand in any other aspect is scary. If someone likes you, whether it be platonic or romantic, you'll have no idea if it's because they like your personality or your body. Being intimidating to the opposite sex without even knowing it because you're wrapped up in your own insecurities. I got no game. No one ever complimenting you because they automatically assume someone already complimented you and now it's a cycle. Then you end up not getting any compliments at all and now I'm questioning my attractiveness. I see some of my friends get harassed by men a lot and they're constantly getting gross sexual comments. Sometimes I wish I was as pretty as them but then that happens to them and I'm glad I look the way I do. I can't imagine experiencing that all the time. If you're not being hyper friendly and you happen to be an introvert most people just assume you're a snob or have a bad attitude. People never accept that you could ever have a valid complaint ever in your life. And anytime you ask a question someone already knows the answer to, you get completely written off with at least that you're pretty instead of getting an answer. When you're polite and behave nicely with people, you're flirting and giving hints and oh I thought we were a thing. You were flirting with me don't back out now. Then you learn your lesson and tone down the politeness, you're stuck up and prudent oh who does she think she is, always on her high horse. Just because she's attractive doesn't mean she can be rude. Women always think that you're not interested in her surprised when you tell them about it and thought you would never be interested in them. You can't get away with doing certain things. For example, if I'm having a bad day, I can't be quiet and aloof without being seen as a mean girl or a bully. You're held to a higher standard in that regard. My behavior affects other people's self-esteem, and I have to take that into account. I can't have a bad day without consequences to others. Sounds awful, but it's true. Bruh, I don't even know if I'm attractive or not. Sometimes I see myself in videos, mirror and photos and think I would fuck my own brains out if my dick could reach my ass. And the other times it's who the fuck could love you Quasimodo. When you get older and become invisible, takes a while to learn that folks aren't really that nice. It was because they thought you were hot wanted something from you. Now that you're old and still good looking for your age, but no longer young it's a whole new world. I kind of like it now though. Peace. I'm 47. Not retired. I've heard people say that no one takes you seriously if you're attractive and that it's hard to make it genuine friends. I can't be friends with girls cause they just want to sleep with me. I'm an 18 year kid locked in my mom's basement playing League of Legends and has never seen grass in my life. People keep collapsing on their knees and diverting their eyes when they see me, which makes ordering food difficult. Constantly being looked at. Could go to the store in joggers and a t-shirt with no makeup on and doesn't matter. It's even weirder because I used to be heavy and considered unattractive for most of my life so this is all new to me. They way nobody talks to you because they think you're unattainable leaving you with a profound sense of loneliness and no self-esteem. That it's fleeting. I lose and gain the same 40 pounds, when I'm skinny.
I get treated so good and get so much attention. When I gain the weight back, that attention goes away. Wish I could stay skinny but eating disorders happen lol. Aging sucks too. Not as hot as I was 10 years ago. Not being able to maintain friends of the opposite sex as well. Maybe that's hard for everyone, not just attractive people, but it's certainly hard to have lots of people want to be your friend only to realize it's because they're into you. If you're attractive unfortunately you're gonna see me sitting on your doorstep. I'm not there right now because I'm drinking coffee, coffee, people you don't find attractive finding you attractive. All I have to say to that is don't be conceited and try to be kind until they give you a reason not to be, it's just life. I mean this in the way of. I feel bad for rejecting people that have done nothing to me, it doesn't make me feel good about myself. I admit to befriending pretty girls because of their inherent social status. Even if we don't have anything in common I kind of kiss their ass because if people see I'm friends with them it will boost my hierarchical social score. I don't think it's insidious, I'm just extra nice and forgiving with them. Unwanted attention, becoming gullible because everyone has been nice to you your whole life so you don't realize evil could happen to you. I can't walk out of the house without some woman throwing some pussy at me. I mean pussy everywhere I go. It's hard on my marriage. Other women hate you and friends say and do things to mask their jealousy but it can come out in weird ways. Especially when you don't give a f about their partner, but they feel the need to bring you down in front of him. Then you get shamed for not wanting to be a girl's girl and PPL often don't invite you in their photos nor do they like or comment on photos where you look great. Fake friends and even much fake love as a kid, zero actual support the moment unreal expectations aren't met. Everything is better in moderation. People just kinda assume you're full of yourself for simply existing. There have been many times where people who have never conversed with me before just assumed I was a douchebag, being harassed and chased down at my job by women who I was legit just being friendly with. Not just co-workers, even customers have returned looking for dick. Everything women complain about men doing, women do too possibly worse tbh. The most attractive people I've met never seem to have any idea. I think people approach them less often because they don't think they have a chance, which is the only possible explanation for me ever having had a chance. Rejecting all those gentle souls that you see going through so much trouble just to say something to you. Every friendship I have ever had with a man has been rooted in them wanting to fuck me. Some are more upfront than others. Made me question my self worth. Do any of them care about what I have to say or did they just listen in hopes that we'd hook up eventually? It takes work, and it is constant. Eating well, exercise. Hygiene, shopping, style, and presentation don't just happen. That is why someone who was once considered beautiful can look so bad years later. Losing it as you grow older, especially if the person has made that their only personality trait. Remember folks, we all get ugly at some point so be pretty on the inside. PPL think you automatically have supreme self-esteem and confidence and feel it's okay to be directly mean and hurtful. I'd like to start a petition for people that call themselves attractive in this thread to post a picture attached to their comment.